I think we're looking at Chinese arm. Bought it from from B and Q, I believe two years ago now. Fifteen pound little bargain. And this stuff was first style was going for like a flat top kind of effect. Um, since then it's changed a little bit. Repotted it, and upon doing so, I kind of changed the front bit. So the picture you just saw is, is now the back side. This now the front side. Well over dual pruning. Been growing quite strong this year. Just constantly trying to ramify it really. So you can see some of the branches just extending and extending. I think it's important to let it extend, let it gain some vigour. I find that a lot of people are either one of two ways that they've pruned their tree too much, which I've been a victim of in the past, pruning it too much and eventually dies off because it's got nothing left or not pruning it enough and then it just grows out, grows out and then branches start getting thick in the wrong places and you lose that internal foliage as well because the external is taking over. I think this is the second to last video from this kind of angle. <laughs> I've, uh, I recently just recorded a video of the tripod, so hopefully that one looks a lot better. trying to pre-record a couple of days early instead of having to panic um, edit videos and then upload them as quick as I can I'm hoping to do about three or four videos a week eventually but I want to be a week ahead and recording that's the way it'll go so I think this is probably my best style tree um, when I first bought the tree it's an absolute mess from being cute obviously and it's grown indoors under line that's 30 foot above your head obviously these are just mass imported um, as a little cover which they're not they're Chinese elms I think they do that just to get away with um, import taxes or it's an easy way to import them or something Chinese elms probably one of the easiest trees to bond on when I say easy I just mean they're very hard here in the UK um, in the South East and Essex especially. A lot of people try and grow them indoors, which you can do, but I, I've never really seen one older than three or four years old indoors. You should have to be replaced by them. And by replacing them, I mean they died indoors. And this one stays in the pot outdoors all year. Um, even through winter, like last year, I think we had minus fives at one point. It's done absolutely fine. At the back of this tree, you'll notice there's, there's a, a weird kind of branch coming off, so that was a sacrifice branch. Um, the base of the trunk was kind of obviously the trunk was sort of the, the tree was the same thickness the whole way up essentially when I bought it. Um, you find out with a lot of kind of this material, obviously cheap material, there's not really been much work going into the bonsai part, but usually they bend it into an S shape, um, trim it just before they sell it, and that's about it really. So yeah, that, that, that sacrificial branch, um, one I wanted to do an air layer of it, I'd, I'd do on another Chinese elm so I can use it for that. Um, I've already pre-twisted it, you know, wired it kind of thing so we will have some movement to it, um, possibly looking at a cascade so. It's also helping thicken up that, that base of the trunk, so anything below that branch is, is getting thicker than above it, kind of thing. It's generally the way it works with sacrificial. I did actually let a sacrificial grow up top as well, just to try and thicken um, the apex of this tree, because um, it was originally just a side branch. There's still a few faults with this tree. Um, on the left side, when we get to the end, you'll see that I've got a, a branch coming from an inside curve, which isn't really a thing in bonsai, but if I didn't do that, there'd be no branch on the left. Um, nothing's perfect, you have to kind of make do with what you've got at the time and just hope that over time you can grow things where you want them to grow. I know a lot of people lost their Chinese elms last year due to the weird weather around, or well, before winter. Um, and I think this year's probably about the same, obviously. I mean, where I am in Essex, we just had 24 degrees in the daytime. 
near on mid-October, which is a strange one. There I am bending that sacrificial branch around, just trying to get a clear view of the actual tree itself. Trim some of the bits back on it because it's just getting a bit too out of, out of control. So the side branch on this I can always grow back in. Now we have it. That's the tree for this year until spring. I've cut it back quite hard to be fair. I'm, I'm looking for more tape on the branches. The branches are all quite the same kind of thickness. We'll get there. Until next time. <laughs>